Hello guys, welcome to a, another video by yours truly um, and in today's video we've got a couple of jobs to do on the Micra. So first we want to tackle this morning is the wastegate. Now I did want to stick with this uh, pretty nifty machined cast um, actuator but with the dipstick there and the actuator arm being all the way down there it was just going to be a bit awkward so uh, this kink here would have to been two 90 degree kinks um, and for what I've been speaking to people it just won't work correctly and um, the movement it will just be weird so we decided to go external wastegate because we've got tons of room in the front here so we might as well use it so we're gonna put this wastegate there put it in there and then obviously we can't really be bothered to do um, a traditional uh, research Although we'll have to see what space we've got to play with actually. Um, so we're just going to vent to atmosphere because who doesn't love a screamer? And then we've gone with a Turbo Smart Comp Gate 40 Gen 5. Just going to do a quick video montage. We're going to take all this off, get the manifold over to the bench. We're going to yeet a hole in the side of there, put a flange on, and bolt the wastegate to it. Now, this job's easier on a fresh manifold before you start getting it hot. And getting it tarnished and getting loads of like exhaust soot inside there so it'd be better to do it now than later so key montage it we've got the, the wastegate port welded onto the manifold looking pretty slick we've welded it inside and out can't, probably probably can't see that well but we've, uh, we've sort of welded the inside to smooth it all out and just to give it a bit of strength so next step is we'll go get that bolted back to the engine we'll get the wastegate on and then we can start working on the dump pipe for the wastegate Folds on, turb skis back on, wastegates on. So now we need to look at doing the wastegate dump. Now I could recirculate it into the downpipe, but I really don't want to at the moment. If I have to eventually, I will. So I'm thinking of just sort of venting it to atmosphere at the moment. Now I'm debating 
I'm going to cut a hole in the plywood there and just yeet it to the floor or to go through this hole here. Um, hmm, I mean, part of me wants to do it the proper way, but the other part of me just wants to sort of yeet it down to the floor there. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. So uh, let's go get a hole saw of some description to give the hole to point at. And then we can then get going on the wastegate dump. So before we get on with doing all that, we've got a very important task to do. This is as far as I've got with the wastegate dump as a far. Uh, I was going to come out here with a, a 1D90, but we were a bit close to the radiator for my liking. Um, even though we have got a bit of room to budge this radiator over a bit, because I, I am going to be making a new radiator. Um, yeah, and I've just sort of been thinking, um, maybe it's not such a wise idea to have, um, you know, a hot exhaust poking through a hole for a bit of plywood so i'm now thinking to i still want to vent into atmosphere because it's cool as fuck uh, and i'm sort of thinking of pointing the wastegate down the floor at this point um plus if we passed it through the plywood we would have to have the tip poking out from underneath the plywood and, and as you can see from last year we did sort of bottom out at a few circuits, even at its current ride height. So I'm thinking if I point that through the floor, we might end up bottoming out, bottoming out pushing the, the wastegate dump up and potentially causing some, some injury to the manifold. So I think um, common sense is probably gonna take over here. And I think we're gonna point it through the sort of gap there at a downward angle. Plus, we can sort of keep the actual exit above the level of the, the, the plywood splitter and obviously point it to the floor away from any any wood. So, um, yeah, I think that's, what's, that's what is we're going to do now. So, we'll uh, got a couple of bits here. We'll mock up this pipe, take it off, get it welded. go that's what I had in mind so we are pointing down past the splitter I might put a little downturn on there yet I've not really quite decided I think we should be fine with it being there anyway um so yeah we're the next thing I sort of didn't sort of take into account is this piece here now we've got a lot of hot stuff around stuff that's meant to be cold but you know needs must is what it is and all that shite so yeah now i'm happy with the location of the screamer i'm going to take it off we're going to weld and purge this bad boy up bolt it back to the car and that's that task completed There we go, one external wastegate installed, one wastegate dump fabricated. So that's where we're gonna leave this video today. That's all I wanted to accomplish in this video. We've done it, we'll sort out all the plumbing um, at a different time. But um, yeah, so I've done this for today. This is gonna be one video. I'm gonna start on another one straight away. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. 
Um, I know a lot of people have asked how we cut the screamer and how we attach the screamer takeoff into a collector. So that's the way I do it. So I hope that answers those questions. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video pretty shortly. Uh, we're cracking on now. Uh, we've not got long to go to a time attack and we've got to get the gearbox built. We've got to get it, the rest of the wiring finished. We've got to get it mapped and hopefully we're going to try and get a couple of test days in there. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.